I said don't do it. I, I got a question for you, sis. You ever smoked a little bit of crack before? Just a little bit. Hell no. That ain't a lot of crack. They got $10 rocks, $5 rocks, $100 rocks. You ever, you ever thought about smoking a little crack? Just a little, not a lot, just a little rock. You, you, you would not think that that was acceptable, right? God said don't do it at all. straight how many you've heard the scripture says that said God is a jealous God right yeah. everybody's heard that scripture before yeah. but what our people don't know is these customs and holidays that we celebrate they are the worship of other gods the Christian church taught us there was only one God and that's not what the Bible says the Bible says every nation of people has their own God I ain't, I ain't never heard I mean give I ain't, me I ain't never heard it but that's not my belief I got one God here's the God. God. Here's the, oh, stop that sis hold on, hold on one second here's the problem though black people don't know anybody else's history or culture black people black you said a little bit but these these Indians know to come from India and set up a business on the top of your black city because they know more than a little bit so do the Chinese in their nail salon so do the Vietnamese over there everybody knows more than our people and celebrating birthdays is the worship of making yourself a god for a day that's why birthday parties keep getting shot up we're not supposed to do that that makes god angry you understand i said god's on the nation of well i mean it's a way to have a birthday party but the lord you're said not, you're not doing you you don't have to drink god drink. said don't do it I, I got a question for you sis you ever smoked a little bit of crack before just a little bit. Hell no. That ain't a lot of crack. They got $10 rocks, $5 rocks, $100 rocks. You ever, you ever thought about smoking a little crack? Just a little. Not a lot. Just a little rock. You, you, you would not think that that was acceptable, right? God said don't do it at all. God got plenty of things that he wants us to celebrate in the Bible. Now check this out. If you go and have your birthday celebration, are you going to celebrate what God said? Uh-huh. I'm going to have God pray hold hands. Uh -huh. Around the birthday cake. And All right. Here's the thing about that. Do you know what God's uh, days are that he said to celebrate? Uh, Easter. We're not supposed to celebrate Easter. Uh, That's a fertility goddess. Well, I, That's about sacrificing babies and orgies. It. That's what we're not supposed to celebrate. Oh. <laughs> you see why I'm telling you? Because, because our people don't know anybody else's culture. We don't know why we celebrate Christmas. We don't know why we celebrate Thanksgiving or Easter. Right. That's what they say. It's Jesus' birthday, right? Right. And that both of those are wrong. Jesus Christ was born in the spring. The birthday that you celebrate is Nimrod's birthday. That Christmas tree that you, I know you don't know. <laughs> That's why I said, Perry, see what that baby doing right there? The baby quiet and she listening. She gonna learn everything. But you need to learn. Because this is why the Lord get upset and he punished us. So mad. He mad? Well, listen, well, this is what God said. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold your peace. One second, sis. Let's listen to what God said. Read that. Psalm chapter 96, verse 5. For all the gods of the... All the what? God. Spell that word. G. O D S G O D S. What does that mean if you put an S at the end of a noun? Says, what's that mean? It's more than one. It's more than one. Read it again. Get a sister a hand. She, she told the truth. It's more than one. Read it from the top one more time. For all the gods of the nations, all the gods of the nations. The word nation in the Bible means race. The Chinese, the Arabs, the East Indians, the Africans. Okay. All of them have their own gods. The Arabs' god is Allah. That's not the god of the Bible. That picture right here, this is the god our people worship in Christianity. Who's this? You know who this is? Who 
Who's this? That's the baby. That's God, right? The baby is honest. She said, that's God. Here's the problem with this. This is not even Jesus Christ. This man's name is Caesar Borgia. He was the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. He's unalived his father, Rodrigo Borgia. You know how bad it is to take your daddy's life? Hold on one second. You know what's complicated, sis? Not knowing what God said, and then we get a heart attack at 19. Right here, right here. Now, hold on, sis. We got to focus. The, ba okay. the baby listening. Let's focus. This is not Jesus. Jesus is a black man. This picture is the reason why young brothers in Richmond unalive each other. Because grandma taught them to pray to this image. That's what Jesus looked like according to the Bible. But you saw this, and the baby saw it. And she immediately said, God. Do you know who this person is? It's very important. This, bro this person, his name is Cesar Borgia. He was the homosexual lover of Leonardo da Vinci. He had sex with his sister, Lucrezia Borgia. He murdered his father, Rodrigo Borgia. Well, listen, life is deep. Life is deep, sister. Life is deep. But see, this is, this is, you see how you saying that? You pay taxes, right? You know how difficult it is for pay taxes? But taxes is not too deep, but learning about the God that's going to keep you and your baby safe is too deep, sister. That's not right. Well, we want to, we want to, I understand, but we are school and we are here to teach our people because this is the difference between us being safe and us being in danger.